You're going to get a lot of information tonight. And so it's very important that you uh, are paying attention. Uh, we are recording this presentation tonight as well. Ms. Green will be putting this uh, on the um, on the website for you. So if you need to go back and watch it again, you can do that because there's going to be a lot of information coming at you tonight that we want to make sure that you get and that you take care of. Okay, these are some of these last minute things that you want to make sure you take care of so we can get you um, graduated and get you uh, across the finish line here as you prepare for the next phase of your life. Okay, so seniors, congratulations to you guys. You're almost there. You just about made it. And tonight you're gonna to get some additional information about some of these end of the year um, events that are taking place, the different end of the year, um, you know, information that you need to be aware of. So you're able to fully participate in some of the things that we have going on here um, in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so I look forward to seeing all of you guys here at uh, Senior Checkout this week as you're coming through. And um, look forward to seeing you at graduation practice. And then, of course, the day of graduation is awesome. And I can't wait for that. Can't wait to see you guys um, at the graduation ceremony. And again, being able to award you your high school diploma. And so, uh, Ms. Green, I think that concludes my comments. And with that, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you, guys. Mr. Workman, before you go, um, I think there's some information that you're more privy to in the chat. They asked, okay. do seniors have to attend class for uh, the rest of the time uh, that we're in school? So their last day of class is, I believe, tomorrow, right? We have five Correct. exams tomorrow. Um, so you won't necessarily be attending class, but then there's some of these other items that we need you guys to take care of, right? And so... Um, you'll be coming to the school later this week for checkout or doing some of those types of things. So it won't be necessarily your normal Zoom class, but there's still some things that we want to make sure you take care of this week. So hopefully that answered the question. Okay. All right. All right thank you. Hang in. We're almost there. Ms. Graham, Ms. Green, I'll turn it back over to you. <clears throat> Ms. Green, I'm just going to um, let the parents know what Mr. Workman was saying. I'm sorry, Ms. Gonzalez. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. So then, um, let me just go ahead. Okay, muchísimas gracias a todos por acompañarnos. Nada más para um, compartir con ustedes la información que estaba dando el señor Workman, el principal de la escuela. Dice que es un honor para él poder um, celebrar este año, aunque es un poco diferente, pero pero vamos a poder celebrar a los estudiantes que se van a estar graduando. Entonces, para él es, um, es algo muy especial y como para él, me imagino que también va a ser para todos los estudiantes que este año no ha sido nada fácil para ellos, ni tampoco para ustedes como padres, pero que les agradece mucho por todo el apoyo que ustedes les están brindando a sus estudiantes. También dice que está muy emocionado uh, de poder mirar a los estudiantes esta semana Más adelante van a estar dando más información de todo lo que va a estar pasando en estos próximos días, que es información muy importante de todas um, las actividades que los estudiantes tienen que hacer antes, antes de que salgan de la escuela para que puedan participar en, en su graduación. Entonces, más adelante van a estar compartiendo con nosotros uh, información muy importante. También comentó que si ustedes después deciden regresar a mirar la junta, También lo están grabando por si tienen alguna duda o algo, siempre pueden regresar y poder volver a mirar el, el video de la junta con toda la información que se les dio. Dice que les agradece, como comentó, comentó previamente a los papás, por todo el apoyo que le están dando a los, a los estudiantes. Mañana empiezan los, los exámenes finales para los estudiantes del grado 12. También dice que... Para que los estudiantes puedan participar en la graduación, es muy importante que pongan atención a todas las cosas y la, los que tienen que hacer para que ellos puedan participar ese día de la graduación. Entonces, um, nada más les agradece por su tiempo, por asistir a la junta y dice que le da mucho gusto de que va a poder ver a los estudiantes esta semana y que pueda hacer la ceremonia con ellos el día de su graduación para poder reconocerlos y poderles darles su diploma.
Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. Again, my apologies. Thank you. And the link is in the chat. If they would like to, um, if any of our parents would like to have the Spanish um, version of the meeting. Okay. Y en este momento, Ms. Uh, Ms. Green acaba de poner el enlace para las personas que necesiten la, la información de la Junta en Español, por favor, hagan clic ahí y los va a llevar directamente a la otra presentación. Are, is there people that are going this screen to the Spanish? Yes, okay. there are. Oh, Ms. Moore already went, right? Yes. Okay. Haley, do you have a question? And everybody sees the presentation, correct? No, Ray, you're good so far. Ms. Green, can you drop the link one more time? Yes. Thank you. And I'll go ahead and get started in a couple of minutes or seconds. <laughs> All right, good evening, everyone. I'm so happy looking at how many participants uh, that we have showed up. That's amazing. That means the word got out. And you know, you want to know what's going to be happening with your senior or you are the senior. Um, I'm Mrs. Graham and I am the assistant principal over guidance. Um, just wanted to give you, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of tidbits about what's going to be happening these past uh, next couple of days. Um, so our senior checkout is on Wednesday, May 26th. And on Thursday, May 27th, it is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. continuously. So there's no lunch break for us. We're running right through 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then Friday is a shortened time. So it's from 9 to 12 noon. So if you um, please need to get there on Wednesday or Thursday, Friday is not going to work out for you or vice versa. So please make sure that you make it. I saw in the chat someone asked, well, what if we can't make it uh, during these checkout times? then please stay tuned and we will let you know what the um, makeup day will be. We just wanna see how we are, are gonna progress these three days. And then we'll be able to decide somewhere between June 1st and June 4th will be the checkout time. It is mandatory that you do check out. It is not an option. It is mandatory. So you must do that. Otherwise you will not be walking in graduation. So please make sure that you are coming to a checkout and stay tuned to one uh, to uh, if you have to make it another time. And just to, as a heads up, um, I disabled the chat, but you guys can um, put any questions that you have in the Q&A portion. And that's just a way for us to organize and make sure that we get to all the questions. So that's the only reason why. All right, so we have stations that we're going to be following on um, starting Wednesday and station one is our counselor check in. So all of our counselors will be here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a frog in my throat. All of our counselors will be here um, for you to check out with. So you will be seeing your counselor. You'll meet with your counselor. They're going to make sure that you've completed your senior survey. And I'll drop that in the chat again, uh, but it's also on. Um, oh, no, never mind. I'll drop it uh, in the chat um, again after I'm done talking. The uh, access code is your student ID number. So that's what it is that you want to do to utilize that. Um, we have more than half of our seniors that have completed it so far. So that is great. That means you're up on game and you're ready to get out of here. Um, also, our FAFSA completion. 
Um, it is mandatory that your VASFA is completed um, in order for you again to graduate. So please make sure that that is completed. We do have a running list of those students um, who have not completed as of yet. Um, if you have submitted and you come and you're like, but I submitted it, um, then you we will have someone here for you uh, that will be able to assist you. We'll have three, uh, what, what we call college um, success coaches that will be here to assist you in completing that. Also, if you, um, are um, thinking about college and you didn't get a chance to apply, but you wanna do a community college, we will be helping you do that as well. So we have three college success coaches that will help you as well fill out an application while you are here. And you will do all that at station one. Your counselor will also review your transcript with you just to make sure you have all of your credits and everything that you need to graduate and your post-secondary plans, as I said, um, just letting them know, what do you plan to do after high school? Do you plan on continuing? your education, you're going to college, what college? If not, that's fine too. Um, are you planning on working? Where do you plan on working? We just wanna keep up with you um, and, and make sure that we can assist you in any way that we can after you graduate, because that's our goal, not to lose touch, but to help you continue on with your future. So that all of that is gonna happen at station one. And then at station number two, that's where you guys can find me, Mrs. Green. How's it going, you guys? So station number two, you have your senior item pickup. There's some of you that have not picked up your cap and gowns. Um, we have awards that were given out throughout the year um, that we still have for you. And then you can also purchase some senior apparel because you know you want to rep OV even after graduation. So um, we still have some things available for you for uh, cash only. And here are those items right there. So yes, as you can see, the prices are going down and they've gone down from before. So um, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these items, and sorry, I forgot the blanket in the, in the freshman year yearbook. If you wanna capture the moments all the way back from freshman year, that yearbook is only $40 for you guys. Um, all, everything will be done in cash. So if you have not already purchased an item, you can go ahead and do so during your checkout hours. Um, and these will be the prices all the way up until um, graduation, but it's only while supplies last. Um, next up, we have station number three, and this is like your graduation essential spot. Here's the sweet deal about coming and checking out early. You will get to choose your seat first. So the order in which you come to your checkout is the way in which you will be um, able to choose your seat for graduation. Do you wanna sit on the home side? Do you wanna sit on the visitor side? And that way you can let your, um, your guest for graduation know exactly um, where, to, where they should see, um, sit themselves. Um, and you all, we also have a, class of, a free class of 2021 lanyard for you all. And while you are um, waiting, we have an opportunity for you guys to record a graduation message. So it's not gonna be what you look like, it's just your voice, it's a voice recording. And while everyone's waiting for the graduation ceremony to begin, they'll be listening to um, those messages from the graduates. So rather it be thanking your parents for putting up with you, um, giving a shout out to a teacher or talking about your favorite memory when you were on campus, um, you as the graduate can record um, a 30 second message for um, your loved ones to hear. And this will also be a part of the live stream um, segment for graduation. Then we have textbook material. Ms. Graham? Sorry, I was in the chat. Oh. <laughs> I know we said we're gonna do it afterwards, but you know, sometimes it just helps to, you know, <laughs> clean up some, some mm -hmm. myths and facts. All right, so um, our station number four is our textbook return. Um, if you have any textbooks that you need to return, any hard books, please bring them, but consumables, we don't need you to bring them. Uh, you do not need to check those in. So just your hardcover books are the ones that we need for you to turn in. Um, if you have any debt, someone asked in the chat, um, how do I know if I have debt? Uh, the librarian would have called you already or sent you an email, um, or you would have sent, got an email from our registrar, or you would have received an email from our bookkeeper. Um, so if you did not receive an email from them or a some type of um, 
a conversation with them, then you probably do not have a debt. Uh, but please don't hold me uh, to that, okay? <laughs> Uh, maybe they didn't get in contact with you. Um, they left the message or you didn't check your email. So please be prepared when you come um, to make sure that you don't have any debt. And the librarian will be able to let you know that um, as well as the bookkeeper who is there uh, too. Um, you can purchase your Chromebook. Um, however, before you do that, we do need to uh, scan it. So we do need the barcode uh, that comes with it. So it will be scanned uh, for a process for checking in for us. And then you may purchase your Chromebook from the bookkeeper. Now, this time around, you guys don't know, but last year we had um, our bookkeeper in a separate entity. She's you know on the other side of the campus. So this time we have everything in one, one, um, one uh, place. So it's a one-stop shop. So the bookkeeper will be right there to take your money for your Chromebook. It is cash only, folks, cash only. Okay, we're doing cash only for... Um, um, our, our Chromebook. Ms. Green, are we doing cash only for ASB items as well? Cash only for everything. Okay, it's cash only for everything. So please, please, please make sure you bring cash. Um, if you know someone who is not here or listening to this and you're like, hey, tell them you need to bring cash. We are not taking any plastic or any checks, okay? Um, and then you will get uh, instructions to clear your Chromebook and that will be emailed out to you later. Um, by the district. So please do not ignore that. Um, sometimes I know a couple of students I've had from last year, they've been calling and saying, my, my Chromebook is not, um, is, not, is not right. It's not cleared. And I'm like, hey, did you check your email? No. So please make sure you check your email uh, to make sure that you um, get the directions on how to clear your Chromebook of any of our Valverde stuff. Okay. And that is it with our station four. Oh, there are a lot of questions in this Q&A. <laughs> I bet. That's why I was trying to get to it while you're going. <laughs> okay. All righty. Um, and a lot of them were about Chromebooks. So when it comes to the Chromebooks, no, you may not upgrade to a new Chromebook. Um, a matter of fact, those that are current, that currently have the new Chromebook have to actually turn that one back in. So they won't even be able to keep that one. They have to turn that one in in order, and then they'll get an, a new, a different one. Um, if someone asks, hey, I have a, a broken Chromebook or I lost it, your best bet is to just buy the Chromebook for $10 cash yes. um, rather than putting it on your account and then it becomes like a $100 payment. So I would definitely say do the $10 cash um, and allow them to look up your, your Chromebook for you. Mm -hmm. But if you have a new one, no, they are not going to let you do that. Yeah, you can't keep the new one. Sorry, I should have said that. You can't keep the new one. You will have to get, uh, is it the Lenovo? Yeah, the Acer's have to come back. The Acer has to come back. The Lenovo, it's not Lenovo. That's, that's hard, huh? I don't Acer's remember. Where, too. Do they get Lenovo's? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the Acer does have to come back. So the new Chromebook does have to come back. And they'll let you know, too. They'll let you know. But all those things need to happen, need to come back in order for you to complete the checkout process, okay? So please don't try to be like, well, I'm just not going to turn it in. Then you won't be walking, okay? So uh, just make a wise decision. Go ahead and do what you need to do with it. Okay, I'm going through and answering some. And... Okay, so hang tight because a lot of these questions are about to be answered really quick. Um, all righty. Here's all the additional graduation information that we're going to go over. Um, but just a, a recap of the senior checkout begins on Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're expecting quite a few people to come on that day, especially because you guys can choose your um, seat for graduation. So my suggestion to you is you and your friends, make sure you kind of come together to make sure that your seats are all aligned together. Um, in addition to bring all of your textbooks, even if you're not sure, bring it anyway. Um, the librarians will scan everything for you. Um, so just hold, hold tight. Also bring your Chromebook um, so they can, it, it just makes the process a little bit faster. If you want to purchase any new item or any items, you can go ahead and bring that cash only. Um, and it is not a, a drive through. It is a, you park your car, you get out and go to each of the stations. Um, we will be practicing social distancing and you do have to um, wear your mask when you come on the campus. So please just be mindful of that. Um, station one will be right at the front office. So you, you won't be able to miss it. And then you'll just um, follow the station signs. You'll walk on campus. 
um, and go through the different stations. So you have the Parent Engagement Center, then you have the Student Store, College and Career Center, and then the library. And then that will conclude your, your checkout process. Um, all right, here's the additional graduation information. OMG, here you go. So everybody was asking, yes, guest registration. Every single attendee has to be registered by the student. So if you use the student's email address to um, log in, you'll have this link right here. If you go to the www.valverde.edu website, you will see where it says graduation information. When you click on that link, it has this guest registration form. It also has the live stream information. Some people are asking, how do we know what the live stream link is? It's located on the website as well, um, as well as the dates and times for the events and the things that you cannot bring into the stadium. Yes, it's still only two guests. Everyone can bring, every graduate can bring two guests and that it does include children and babies. So any breathing, if you're breathing, you are, you are considered a, a person. Um, so completely understand, yes, it is extremely unfortunate that it, there are only two, um, but due to the amount of graduates we have, the amount of people that it takes to operate the graduation, um, in addition to every single body um, counts towards the numbers. And so we just have to make sure that we abide by all of the um, county health, health guidelines that are going on, um, just the, the situation that we're in. For every entry into the graduate, gra graduation ceremony, they must have a photo ID. So it says it right there, any form of ID with a name and photo is acceptable. So they just have to have a photo ID in order to verify that they are the person that the graduate has said that they would like um, to attend. And then for those that cannot attend using this website is, or that, that link as well, you can find the live stream information for our graduation. Cap and gown decorum. So what do we look like when we come? Um, students may decorate their caps. So the cap, just the, the top portion. Um, but the thing is, is that it cannot have anything that is raised above the cap. So all decorations have to lay flat on the cap. And that's just to make sure that it doesn't obstruct the view of the graduates that are seated behind you or messing up pictures and things like that. Um, all the designs must be school appropriate. And um, in addition to, you can't alter your gowns in any way, shape or form. Um, graduation is definitely a moment to celebrate all of your accomplishments during high school. And for that, the stoles and things that um, students are wearing are those that are received to, are, that are received um, are given to them by the school for um, their participation, their academic excellence. Um, and thus, um, you can also have a cultural, um, that sashes or stoles, that, that's acceptable as well. However, anything other than that, it is not. Um, so you can get creative with your caps. So I think this is the, the last year that the caps can be decorated. So make them pretty and make sure it, re it reflects you. Um, if for whatever reason, sorry, let me go back to that one. If for whatever reason it is not school appropriate, um, it will be removed. But then again, you don't have a cap. So you would have to purchase a cap. Thing is, there's only a limited number of caps. So please make sure all decorations are school appropriate. Um, right here, we have graduate graduation rehearsal. It is going to happen Tuesday, June 8th. So that is the morning of graduation. It's at 8 a.m. and we're doing it at 8 a.m. So it gives you more time from eight to 10. It'll give you more time to kind of prep for the, the evening. And yes, it is mandatory. Um, please wear the shoes. Ladies, please wear the shoes that you may want to walk in graduation if they're nice and cute, um, simply because I want you to be comfortable wearing them as there is a long walk from the gym to the stadium. In addition to walking up and walking down the stairs, just don't wanna have any accidents. Um, also know that um, graduation is at 6.30 PM. So it should be a little bit cooler out than, um, than the traditional heat that we're used to. Um, at the beginning of June. So failure to attend graduation practice will forfeit your selected seat. So say you come on Wednesday for senior checkout and you got the perfect seat, but if you're not there to practice in that seat, you're gonna mess up what, our, what, what everything is looking like. So we're, um, 
that's why graduation is mandatory. We need to make sure we are looking great like OV always does, okay? Um, and then for all of you in attendance for our graduation rehearsal, you will receive our first ever alumni shirt. So, especially for y'all. Um, somebody had asked earlier about yearbook. The last day, we have extended the deadline for yearbook. The last day to order your yearbook is going to be the night of graduation. If you have not already done so, um, the graduate or to purchase that yearbook, you can use this QR code right here. Um, a link to the graduation ceremony, the first time ever, a link to the graduation ceremony and pictures taken on graduation day will be included in the yearbook. Um, the, someone was asking, well, when will, when will we receive the yearbooks? Um, in order to capture these moments, we were trying to extend for as long as we could the, um, the ability to put more pictures in the yearbook to make it worthwhile. And the fact that you will be able to, so the pictures that we take before we go walk out at graduation will be in the yearbook. And um, the yearbook will be delivered like the towards the end of July. Um, and we are planning, of course, we are planning an OV fashion little mini reunion for you all when you come and pick up that book. So um, it's never, yeah, it's never complete. I'm, I'm getting all sad kind of thinking about this stuff right now. Um, but it's just, it's, it's where we are. If you would like, um, and if you already purchased your fresh, the freshman yearbook um, with the package, you, you'll be able to pick that up during senior checkout. But then also, if you would like to reminisce back to those freshman year pictures and look at how much you have glown up since that time, um, those will be offered for $40 to the class of 2021 only during um, our senior checkout days. So if you are interested in purchasing the yearbook from your freshman year, um, we still have a few of those available for you. Um, next up, right here, you'll see over to the graphic to the left, um, cherished memories will be on, our, on campus on the graduation day. So rehearsal to before graduation, taking all the candid shots of the graduates and throughout the evening on the field, they'll get up close and personal. And they'll also take a picture of the graduate as they walk off the stage holding their um, diploma cover. Um, if you use this code to the left, you can sign up now um, and all the pictures, it'll, it'll bring up all the pictures through facial recognition of your graduate. So throughout the um, once or the following day after the graduation ceremony, all you have to do is, well, they'll send you the link through this text and you can click on your, um, on the link and it'll bring up all of the photos that had your picture in it. So it's pretty, pretty cool feature, things that we can do. Now, here we go, graduation ceremony. For our graduates, you must report to the gym and arrive by five o'clock p.m. So you'll go straight to the gym. Um, we'll, yes, we will be meeting inside. Uh, you will be searched upon arrival. No cell phones, cameras, dolls, flowers, candy. And if, if found, they will be confiscate, confiscated and you can pick them up the next day from the school. Um, just, and these are the same rules and guidelines that are used on a traditional year because you guys are having a traditional ceremony. Um, so please make sure you arrive with none of those things as they can prove to be distractions along the way. And then guidelines for spectators. In the stadium, no food or beverage is allowed. Um, no balloons or noisemakers are allowed in the stadium. Balloons obstruct the view. Um, no posters because those will also obstruct the view of the people sitting around you. And noisemakers are, are not allowed simply because if my baby's name is getting called and that noisemaker is still going off, somebody's not going to be happy. So um, that's why noisemakers are not allowed in the stadium. And masks must be worn at all times and social distancing of six feet must be observed by all of the guests that are seated in the bleachers as well. Um, there will be markers in the stands to make sure families are staying um, separated. So um, there will be guidelines on how everyone can be seated. Um, I will be, since I do know where all the students are seated um, at the gate, but I will, I will say, please graduates, let your parents know once you choose your seat, exactly which side you have decided to sit on. Um, it'll make it a lot easier for them when they arrive to the stadium and they'll know if you're on the visitor side or if you're on the home side so they can be closest to you. 
um, and if you're in the front or if you're towards the, the rear of the, um, the field. And then lastly, to seal the deal and to make sure there are no mishaps during the graduation ceremony, you guys will be able to pick up your diploma on Wednesday, June 9th and Thursday, June 10th. Um, so we split it up by alpha from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So any or any time in between nine and two um, on those days, um, you'll be able to come and pick up your diploma from the school. And make sure you bring your ID so we can verify who you are. All right. And that is all from me. So let's do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen right now. Um, if for whatever reason you guys have any questions regarding the graduation ceremony, um, cap and gowns, please utilize the time um, during senior checkout. I will be available to ask um, or to answer any questions that you guys may have when you arrive. Um, but if not, please feel free to email me at dgreen, D-G-R-E-E-N-E -E -E, at valverde.edu. And I'll be sure to get back to you. The number of emails has been crazy, but I will get back to you for sure. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing screen and stop the recording so we can answer these questions. I think I got most of them Ms. Green and you answered them as you went along the way. Um, as far as graduation, 